Hey guys, VG Mercenary V here, back to another video. Oops. <laughs> back to another video, and today I'm back with more Nino Kuni of Wrath of the White Witch. Oh, that's a long title. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. Uh, I forget what I'm doing. Oh, fireplace. Right, right, right. Spellbook in the fireplace. Um, in the last episode, we got started with this game. Uh, unfortunately, like Ollie's like mother spellbook. has, uh, quote unquote, but passed away. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. And Ollie's tears has it. brought really? Drippy to life. Ah, gotcha. He used to be a doll. And now he's not, because Ollie has magic tears. I don't know. <laughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Wizard's companion. But yes, uh, Drippy was brought back to life thanks to Oliver's magic tears. And was like, hey, you need to come save our world. And Ollie's like, I don't want to. But then Drippy was like, well, if you save our world, maybe you can bring your mom back to life. And then Ollie's like, okay, I'll help you, but how do I help you? And then Drippy's like, there's a magic book in the fireplace. And so we have the magic book called the Wizard's Companion. Uh, yeah, so Drippy's gonna go through this long explanation of the Wizard's Companion. But basically, it is a, like, no wall encyclopedia of wizardry and the world that Drippy comes from. Bunting <laughs> And this is where you enter a name for yourself. Uh, if you just confirm. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought, I thought that if I just pressed confirm then it would, uh, enter, automatically enter Oliver and I wouldn't have to do anything. But unfortunately it looks like I'm gonna have to do stuff. So I am actually gonna just write Oliver in here. Uh, just to differentiate it from my other save file. My other save file is under my name. Uh, but I, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my name, or not my name, Oliver's name in here. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Yeah, that's exactly what we're yes. doing, Drippy. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting Let's, spells without Okay, a wand what, who, we? what? <laughs> Why would we have a wand? Exactly, the ten year old knows. Ah, well, come here. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? Yes, we won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least was it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I was gonna say, he gets offended over the bunting bit, not the crybaby bit. Alright, righto. Time. To, I'm not gonna try and do that accent. I can't do the accent. <laughs> if I tried, um. I feel like I would accidentally offend someone and I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep out of it. I'm not gonna do any sort of special accent for Drippy. If I read his lines, I'll read them no with my normal voice. Uh, I never brought a wand with me. I mean, just look at me. The price of my love ability is as small as my stature, in it? I say I'm not gonna do an accent and then I like slip into an accent. <laughs> well, I guess just like reading Drippy, there's no- or reading Drippy's lines, I should say. There's no way you don't do some sort of accent with it, cause it's like they he written you his lines are written that way. You can't not do an accent, anyways. So even fairies tell no one is above telling a lie every now and then, buddy. No one is above telling lies. Uh, of course they do. Us fairies are in in I to this day I don't know how to pronounce that word. To this very day, I guess I could just Google it and figure out how to pronounce it. But, uh, no, to this day, I'm still not sure how you pronounce that word. Brown and sticky like a stick. Ah, <laughs> brown and sticky. When I first read that, uh, PS3 version of the game, when I first read that, I thought he meant sticky as in, like, you know, like, something, like, slimy. That, you, that can, like, that has that kind of sticky feeling. That's what I thought. And then I'm like, no, he's just looking for something that's like a stick. Uh, but anyway, we gotta follow Drippy around. Uh, this, I feel like this is a bit too big to use as a wand, buddy. What are you looking at? Don't tell me, don't tell me you're thinking about using this lamp plus as a flippin' wand. <laughs> what are you cut that out for, Star? It's way too flippin' big. We need a stick or something like that, ain't it? Why don't we go, have a look by over there? 
Over where? What do you? Where are you? Drippy, there's literally trees over by there. Oh, oh god, now I'm starting to speak like him. There's a there's trees over that way. Why are we over here? Drippy, we're not using a car as a wand. This was one proper proper tidy motor, eh? Might get myself one of these. <clears throat> Sorry, now's really not the time, in it? There ain't anything more like over here either. Let's go have a look by the other side, shall we? Uh, okay. Oh, when you find something, don't forget to pop it in your bag for safekeeping. Yes. We do have an endless bag. We could stuff things in there. Uh, or bottomless bag, I should say. We have a bottomless bag. You put anything and everything in there because it has no bottom. And I suppose you could just summon everything that you need from it as well. I don't know how bottomless bags work. Like, if you drop something in there, it doesn't drop to the bottom because it's bottomless. So we, how far... Anyways, I'm just saying. <laughs> bottomless bags are weird and I don't want to think about it too much because then I'm going to kind of drive myself into a corner there. Or not in a corner. I'm going to drive myself into a circle with that. I'm going to go in an endless circle. <sighs> it's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not wrong, Bunting. Alright, we better split up then. Broaden the search like. I'll go and take another quick look around your house. You stay by here and head up the outside search, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, great idea. I'll leave a ten-year-old alone in the dark. Okay, brown and sticky. Brown and sticky. Oliver? Huh? Oh, it's you! And the green-haired chick is back. Green-haired chick? Green-haired kid. I'm gonna call her a kid. I don't wanna call her a chick. You're the little girl I met before, huh? Green-haired kid. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? Yeah, we never cleared that up, did we? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? You also, know, why do her lips sorry, grow? I couldn't see Not grow, her. glow. Huh? I don't... There's like a faint oh, light around her lips. I wanted to it's say very that. very weird. I really did. Also, this is incredibly bright. Huh? Although this time she disappeared in front of your eyes. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Although this time she did it right in front of your eyes. There's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Ollie, come on. Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're Who at else could be your sidekick in a foreign me. world, buddy? I wanted to know if it was alright me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. <laughs> but it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground. Right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. <laughs> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. A monkey's yeah. uncle. A real wand. I don't know thing about Drippy. His the the random sayings that he it's says. It's like stick. it's so it's cool. Magic right in on it. See? it does, huh? Wow. Also, you Is can translate this world? writing. The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. You can translate the writing that is on this, uh... I'm, I, uh, brain, catch up, please. Okay, you can, uh, wow. You can translate the writing that is on the old stick, as the game calls it, while using the wizard's companion. I'll show you guys in a bit. You need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see it? Do we really need that much oomph? Yes. Ex what yes. kind of question is that? Magic is special, isn't it? It's secret, right? Yeah, it's perfectly fine to do magic in front of everybody's eyes. You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. Yeah, which is why you gotta find a big space for gateway at the beginning of the game, and then in the rest of the game you could literally cast it anywhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but really that's how it is in the game. 
This is beginner stuff we're talking about. Of here. course he's new to this. He's not from your world, Drippy. Oh, uh, sorry. No, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere wrong by you. Uh, the town square, I guess. So, yep, now we go up to the town square. And I think this is, like, the only time we actually get to go up to the town square is right here in the beginning of this game. Because I don't remember... Oh, wow. Uh, I don't remember ever going back to the town square, like, at all. Ever. In this game. We go once, and that's it. Also, why are we allowed to just cross the street like this? There's... There should be cars running around this time at night. I'm not gonna question it, but okay. But Do yeah. You really think we should be doing this here? And we're back to the oh, Ghibli animations. Oop! Focus! Camera! There we go. Go on, Ollie boy! Cast gateway! Um... Yeah, so here's gateway spell. It uses zero MP, which is very handy. You could cast it as many times as your- as you'd like. <laughs> as your heart content. What? But yeah, you could cast Gateway as many times as you'd like, because it doesn't use any MP whatsoever. Ah, I forgot to show you guys the runes. Yep. Dogs are super sensitive to it, though. Dogs are always super sensitive to everything in the in this kind of stuff. Not bad work, dude. That's that looks awesome, and also kind of looks familiar to people who might have played this game before. Um, but yeah, no, this is the only time we ever need to cast a gateway in a quote-unquote big, spacious area. In the rest of the game, you can cast a gateway literally anywhere you'd like, and the travel happens. Well, uh, between the two worlds, which I guess is now realizing it's kind of spoiling it, considering we didn't know that we could travel between the two worlds. But yes, you can travel between both worlds here. Right, let's get going, shall we? Ollie, you're alright. But like I said, that's hey, that that me? that scene is I mentioned it last episode. That scene very much reminds me of Lion King. So this is Ooh, oh, it's boy. suddenly got chilly oh, here. What's going on? At last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Tidy. Jimmy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that heard of Hulk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious <laughs> world, did you? Majestic. Uh -huh. Jeepers. That's majestic, all right. Nickers, where did he spring from? Oh. I love that he said knickers. What do we do? He's like, are knickers like underwear? Let's run away. No, you start so he's just like, ah, oh, underwear. <laughs> like, ah, oh, undies. Where did he come from? <laughs> Anyways. Like he's his also, Ollie, why are you just randomly screaming? What? Why is Ollie just randomly screaming? I really got. I realize he's a ten-year-old boy. I realize he's a ten-year-old boy and this is a fictional video game. But why is he just screaming while standing there and looking at his hands? Alright, so anyways, yes, a green gauge is our HP. Everyone knows HP and MP, I'm sure. We're all familiar with what HP and MP is. Yeah, and on the left on the not on the left, on the right over there you can see the health bar of our enemies, and you could also see our options in these little speech menu things. So yeah, you can use the D-pad to switch between your options, although all we could do right now is attack, so we're gonna attack. You could choose your target whenever you have multiple targets, but right now we only have this one rough, so now we attack. Nice! Alright, so yeah, when you, uh, like like Shubi says here, when you find an enemy's weak spot, or if you find, or if you block a really big attack, you can get a quote unquote nice and get glimpse from it. Green glimpse will restore your HP. Blue ones will restore your MP. That way, you won't have to like use provisions every two three seconds in battle. Although you might have to if you're like underleveled or something or other. 
But anyways, yes, you can attack or defend. So if I defend like this, it says a miss right there, but... Yep, there we go. I take less damage from the rough's attacks. And as you might have seen on that defend thing, there is a timer. You can't just rapidly spam attack or defend. There's a bit of a grace period. But this is not a turn-based style game. Which is a bit of a... Oh, another thing to mention. Drippy will randomly throw out Glims himself. Either HP or MP. I believe he mostly throws out the HP uh, Glims. So, just something to keep in mind. But Drippy will also throw out Glims whenever he thinks he might need some help. Or whenever the AI deems it worthy to throw out a uh, throw out a glim. Hey, nice Battle basics. Jeepers creepers. Jeepers creepers. Another way to know that this game is pretty old. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties, but keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get him. Yeah, he's gonna be perfectly fine. Sure, Mr. Drippy, but where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. Nah, no, bro. Having a laugh, are you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. It's a stick. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Jeez, no, Drippy, you don't gotta rail at him like that. What the hell? Tonight. Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shada showed up, Magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary. Well, duh, they call him the Dark uh, Jinn. turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like... Sad? Yes, exactly, Ollie. Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. He's Ted and he's acting like he could save the world. Which, him, in this so game, he can, but like, it. what? That's why I brought you here, in it. You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! He speaks as if it's so easy. Alright, let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Yeah, and real quick before we do that, I do need to show you guys the writing that's on um, the old stick as the game calls it. Uh, hopefully I'll have some free movement here. Yes, okay. Hey, beautiful Ollie boy. Ah, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. If one of them spots you, you'll, be, you'll see a big exclamation mark pop up over its head and it'll charge at you. When it's within fighting distance, you'll have a fight on your hands. If you run out of HP, you'll be at for the count. Yep. If you sneak up without them noticing, you can get that first hit in, giving you the upper hand, but it only it works the other way around as well. A little something. Ah, yes, the white bread. So white bread can heal, I believe, 30 H. Is it 30? 20. 20 or 30 HP in battle, which can definitely come in handy, especially at these beginning stages. Later on, it's gonna be completely absolutely useless. Um, but real quick, nope, that's not what I wanted. Before we do anything, a mite ticket, a drongo ticket, a flutterby ticket, a griffy ticket. Um, I don't know why I have those. Anyways, as you can see, you can see the quote unquote, the fate symbols that are written on Ollie's wand. Complete gibberish to us. But if we go into our wizard's companion, which, oh, what? I can't. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Hold on. I'm dumb. I need to go in here. Uh, we go into our wizard's companion. Down here, you see the Nazcan alphabet. You look at that, you can zoom in here. These are the symbols that are on Ollie's wand. So you can look at these, go back and forth a bit, and you can translate what is written on his wand. Uh, I'm not gonna go back and forth, because I believe it says bring hope. 
on his wand. Backwards, I mean. <laughs> they were, they, uh, it's from right to left, uh, similar to Arabic, I believe is, I believe it's Arabic that goes from right to left. But if you, if you translate this into English letters, read it from right to left, it says bring hope. So, yeah, it's a nice little tidbit you might want to keep in mind when we, while we play through this game. Especially considering that Ollie is the uh, quote-unquote pure-hearted one that will save this world. Also, something I wanted to mention in the last episode is that the soundtrack of this game uh, is really, really beautiful. I love, I love the soundtrack of this game. And this world theme that you, ha that you guys can faintly hear in the background, one of my favorite tracks, if not my favorite track in this game, in the uh, soundtrack for this game. It is amazing. But yeah, uh, Drippy just explained how you can use the right analog stick to mess around with the camera viewpoint. But yeah, this world theme, by far, uh, this part, yes, so good, so good. By far one of my favorite songs in this game's soundtrack, if not the favorite song. I wanted to mention that last episode, I don't think I did, just because I forgot. <laughs> like, no other reason besides the fact that I forgot. Uh, but yeah. Let's keep going, then. Got more to do. Poor guy is out of it. He's just completely out of it. to be like a classic case of brokenheartedness. Brokenheartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? Duh. <laughs> Brokenhearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless to you. So his heart was broken mm. by... Keep up, will you? Shatar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But Jeepers. if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> then you better cure him in an Ollie boy. Time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it? But how do I do that? Well, you can't just do it yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. But I know an old man who who's got just what we need. Proper useful I am, eh? An old man? What old man? What do you mean about old man? The old man, ain't it? Lives in the woods north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark it is. That's why they call it the deep dark wood. Why am I doing an accent? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so we can't go into Ding Dong Dell just yet because a ten-year-old's life can never be easy. <laughs> I guess. Especially in a parallel universe. But... We've got to go to the ding- or not the ding dong dell, the deep dark woods, which is all the way up by there. And as you can see, we have quite a way to traverse. So, we get to listen to this wonderful world theme. Wonderful world theme. Uh, I remember when I was in middle school- oh, there's an enemy. When I was in middle school, I was in band, and I played the flute. Now, I didn't- Watch this! Like, middle school band, it was nice. Wasn't amazing. Wasn't terrible. I liked it, but I remember, uh, oop. I'm going to defend real quick. There we go. And back to attack. So yeah, whenever you see an enemy charging up an attack like that, it'd be a good idea to defend. Just so you take less damage and maybe get a glim out of it. You typically get a glim out of it when you're going against a boss or something. Uh, from any enemies like this, you might. You might not. It depends. Um, ooh, money. Money's gonna be big here. Um, but as I was saying, I played flute in my middle school middle school slash junior high band. Oh, what? Two enemies. Oh, yeah. Another thing I should mention is that those roughs, every everyone just goes in a straight line. So it's rather easy to avoid them. Because they all just charge in a straight line. Or, not all of them. But, like, the rhinosaur and the rough charge in straight lines. So you don't need to, like really run away, you just move to the side by like a couple of feet and oops I was I meant to guard and then I didn't. Uh, but yeah, oop, I'll take that even though I don't need it. <laughs> but yeah, they charge in a straight line so it's very easy to avoid them because you can just step to the side and you're perfectly safe. And we got our first level up of the game. Nice. First level up of the game. You think it'd come from something bigger, but no, it just comes from random enemy battles. Ah, over there. I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I'm also gonna use this. 
So as you can see there, we snuck up on that enemy, and now we have the upper hand. Let's go! Yes, we have the upper hand. So, the enemy will not be able to do anything for a few seconds while we, uh, start up, while, while we start this battle here. There will be a few seconds where the rough will literally not be able to do a thing. And so you can, once that blue exclamation mark pops up, then the enemy becomes aware and can start doing stuff. But until then, wail your strongest attacks at your enemies, because you could probably finish things off pretty quickly like I did right there. Um... Anyways, I'm trying to tell a story, and I keep getting a, 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 a sidetracked. Uh, I played flute, and I remember I didn't love school band just because I thought it was kind of stressful. Uh, like, oh, I, I thought it was more stressful than it needed to be. And so, uh, what I did instead was I would like kind of motivate myself to keep playing the flute by playing a bunch of different songs on it. And I would play stuff like the fairy tale theme song. If any of you have watched a uh, fairy tale before or know of the anime, I, I I taught myself how to play the fairy tale theme. I taught myself how to play like, you know, different themes and tunes from shows or games that I enjoyed. And one of them was in fact the world theme here. The world theme that you can hear. Uh, yeah, I kind of I taught myself how to play the world theme. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go around this way. Um, oop, but there's a glimmy over there. But yes, these glims that you can see in the real wor in the world are items. Items that will probably come in handy. Although you can't really use them just yet. As you can see, the provisions. The only thing that's here is your white bread. Uh, those will be over in ingredients. Those. They'll come in handy. Don't worry. They'll come. You can't really use them just yet, but there will come a time where you will be able to use them, and they'll come in very handy. But until then, we're just gonna keep going we here. We can do this. Yes, yes, we can. These guys are not very strong, so uh, it's rather easy to take them down. Ooh, nice. Uh, but yeah, I taught myself how to play the world theme, the world theme in Nino Kuni on the flute. I don't know if I can still do it, it's been a few years since I've last picked up my flute and played something. Um, I mean, I I was pretty good, you know, for a middle school slash junior high kid. I, I, I consider myself pretty good. Um, but yeah, I taught myself how to play this, and I remember that I loved playing it, because there was something about this theme that just like kind of calmed my anxieties a bit. Whenever I would play it, whenever I would listen to it, it was very, it was very calming to me for some reason. I to, to this day I still don't know why exactly I felt so like peaceful whenever I listened to it. Uh, but I did, and it helped, and it also helped keep me motivated to get through band until uh, high school came along, and I was like, you know what, I don't want to do marching band, so I'm gonna quit band. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I I really do love the soundtrack of this game. Like, it really is. It's beautiful. Ah, the deep dark woods. Is that that's it up right there? Yes. The deep dark wood. It's not woods. It's just wood. Singular. There's one singular wood. Um. Hmm. That. Hmm. I feel like that could be taken out of context and spun in a certain way. But I'm not gonna say much. But yes, look at this place. Very cool. Very, very cool. Look at that! It's a waystone. There's useful. A waystone? Yeah, man. There are these ancient stones. See, you could use them to store a record of your adventures so far. In wild places like forests and so on, you can't just plunk yourself down the nearest rock and write your story down. But why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, man. Because they're crawling with horrible beasties, ain't it? They are? That sounds kind of scary. You'll get used to it, man. Just remember, you can't go recording your progress in any old way. In any old way? What? But anyway, yes, you touch a waystone, your your MP and HP will be fully restored, and you'll be given an opportunity to save your adventure. Because in quote-unquote dungeons like these, you can't save just anywhere. If you open the menu, the save option is gone. So, whenever you see a waystone in a dungeon like this, or for... <laughs> 
for for the sake of the adventure and for ex explaining, I am going to call these dungeons. Um, but yeah, you can't just save anywhere you want. So, use the waystones. They will be very, very handy. Also, just follow Drippy here. He knows where he's going. Gotta go talk to the old man in the woods, because there's nothing creepy about a ten-year-old boy going into the woods to talk to an old it's man. Drippy. Everything's fine. Me. Everything's fine. Of course, you gotta have the little, like, trips over nothing for no reason. Yeah, good thing it's not a real old man and it's just a tree. Yep. Your leafiness. It's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by you from another world, see? And what it is is, I was wondering if you what might it is, have is? a bit of a hand like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. What does that say about you? You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it. Did you, you box shit? Can you switch between four different names here? The pure hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And if he, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Of course he is. Reckless is his nature. But they're serious about this. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first, we had better give the boy a first. Ah, yes, oh, familiars. Oh, yeah, clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only gonna get bigger and meaner. So, you're gonna need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. But Mr. Trippy, there's no spell named Form Familiar in here. You what? The boy is correct. Look at his wizard's companion. It would seem that he is missing more than a few of its pages. Really? Knickers! So does that mean I can't cast a spell? No. What? You could cast a spell. I don't think you necessarily need to flip to the page in the Wizard's Companion to cast a spell. But, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know enough for this world's magic. Also, like, can we talk about the fact that this man just com conveniently had the exact spell that we needed here? But yes, Form Familiar. It is a one-time use spell. We literally use it once, and never again, so I don't know why. Uh, some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that for now, man. Just give Full Familiar a go, will you? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Also, Oliver's being so nice. Or so, not nice, what's the word? Formal. He's being incredibly formal. He keeps calling Drippy Mr. Drippy. And he never, he always calls him Mr. Drippy throughout the entire game. <laughs> Look at that, he's just spitting. He's just spitting. <laughs> Aww. This is just dorky. <laughs> He just reminds me of a kid. He reminds me of a kid. He reminds me of my brother when he was younger, actually. When my brother was like little, like little, little, like four. <laughs> reminds me of him. Yeah. And he'll be coming with us? Indeed he will, Ollie boy. The more the merrier, at, merrier ain't it? Yeah, you better give the little fellow a name, eh? Yeah, uh, I don't really care much for names, I'm gonna be honest here. Like, even stuff like Pokemon and Digimon, where you could, like, nickname your. your. team. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say soldiers. I'm. <laughs> not soldiers. 
Um, yeah, but yeah, even instead of like Pokemon and Digimon where you could uh, nickname your team, I was never really much for nicknames. Like, I'm, I've never been much of a nickname kind of person. I don't really call anyone nicknames. I have nicknames that my friends call me. I don't call anyone by nicknames or... There's like a couple nicknames that I use for people, but there's no one that I like really... I don't know. Nicknames have just never been a big thing. I'm not very creative when it comes to nicknames, and so I've just never really used them. Maybe if I like stream Pokemon on Twitch, uh, then I'll like ask the chat for nickname suggestions. Uh, but that's up in the future, because right now, uh, if you haven't seen my New Year's vlog update thing, go watch that. But I do hope to start streaming. I hope to. I have plans to stream on Twitch. As of the day I'm recording this, which is still in the previous year, actually. Uh, I'm still back in December of 2020, so I hope the first few days of the new year have been going very well. And if not, then it's kind of what we expected of the new year, isn't it? <laughs> um, but, um... Oh yeah, this is just, this is everyone, this is just saying that the healing spell can be used anywhere at any time at all. Meanwhile, st spells like Fireball can only be used under certain situations in dungeons or in battle. Which, you know, using spells in battle, very much handy. Very, very handy. Alright, oh, speaking of battle. Uh oh. Huh? Spoiler for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Solly boy. Huh? Yeah. But what do I do? What do you mean, what do you do? Think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. <laughs> I love this guy. Here goes. I love this guy. I love this guy. I love, I love the little... <laughs> I love this guy. Teeny Bopper. Come on! Anyway, yeah, now you can now you can switch off between who is going to fight. You can choose either Ollie or Mighty, our first little familiar. Of course, right now you can only choose Mighty because this is a familiar tutorial here. Alright, so now you can see the circle, the little orange circle on the left. That is a timer. Oh, well, it's a stamina gauge, but it's basically a timer. The familiars can only go off and fight for a short while. So you can't just, like use them the entire fight. Well, sometimes you can, if the fight's gonna go by quick. But, you know, you can't just wail at your opponents with a familiar the entire time. So, you have a stamina gauge, and once that stamina gauge runs out, this guy will be too tired to fight, and there will be a long reload time. So, what you do is you switch between Oliver and Mighty until, and like, make sure the stamina gauge doesn't run out, and just keep switching between the two of them until you win the fight. That's it. Uh, yes, the little marks. So, every little beastie has those marks. Our familiars have a little mark right there. Even our opponents have little marks right there. It's like your attribute, basically. And so, if you, if you think of Pokemon where different attributes have certain strengths and weaknesses, it's the same thing. There's three. There's Sun, Moon, and Star. Sun beats Moon, Moon beats Star, Star beats Sun. Very easy thing, kind of like Bob Kirby Scissors here. Now, tricks. There's one right here called Cut Loose. That is the one that our familiar knows. That is the only one our familiar knows right now. It costs a lot of MP. It does. And big thing to remember, like Drippy is saying right here, you guys share your HP and MP. So, one person runs out of HP, game over. As soon as Oliver runs out of HP, it's game over. So, even if a familiar uses a trick, it's gonna be your MP that goes down. If a familiar gets hit, you're the one who takes damage. Something big to remember. Uh, yeah, so this is just Trippy saying that you can swap regularly, and it's a boot thing too. But, it is a good idea to use Cut Loose here, because Cut Loose is a trick that hits all the opponents at once, and does some pretty good damage, as you can see there. That is half of their health bar done. Of course, now we can't use it again, because... Oops. Because it does take 10 MP, so now we're gonna have to fight the good old way. Or, pff, good old way. Old fashioned way is what I meant to say. Which is just normal sword slashes. And you just keep going there. And once you defeat an enemy, or once, yeah, once you defeat an enemy, you'll automatically come out of that attack gauge. Uh, I'm gonna come over here and take some MP. And now, uh, there is a little audio warning as you heard once your stamina gauge is about to run out. So before that stamina gauge reaches zero, switch over to Ollie. Use some spells. Let's show off Fireball here real quick. Does a lot of damage. That's 13 damage right there. 
So, Oliver does do a lot of damage. At times, he does more than your familiars. When you use magic, obviously. So, magic, definitely something you use with Oliver. Very handy, very strong. Use it. And it doesn't really matter if you use a familiar in a fight or not. It'll gain experience either way. So if you want to just grind up a familiar that's really low level, keep the familiar in your party. Use Oliver or use your other familiars. Because you can have up to you can have up to three. And yeah, when he's not fighting, you could go in the creature cage. And that's where you can give your familiars little treats that can increase their attack, defense, HP. Not HP. But you know, you could increase their attack and defense and other stats with certain treats. Uh, but yeah, adoration and moderation, that's the key. And if your uh, familiars get full, it does have effects in battle. I don't really know what kind of effects because I never really like got my familiars full. But, you know, think about it. If you After you eat like a really big meal, you're kind of sluggish, you kind of want to take it easy. Similar thing applies here with the creature cage. So, yeah. Um, I think I've talked about everything there. I think that's everything. I was explaining something before we moved on to the creature cage. And, uh, I forgot what I was saying. So, yes, here we go. Now we need to talk, now we need to get the spell in order to help the broken-hearted guard back at Ding Dong Dell. Crikey, you've not gotten lost it, have you? Hmm? <laughs> Lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. Uh, while I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. Well, did I mention where to flip and hurry, didn't I? We've got no time to... Mr. Trippy, we should help old father Oak. He gave us our spells, didn't he? Yeah, Ollie's a good child. Ollie's a good kid. Uh, how very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. All right, all right, I get the flippin' message. Go on, what is it you need us for? Well, it's the guardian of these woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I'm afraid he has become rather unruly as of late. He's been neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that's no good, is it? You better help you sort him out then, eh? The guardian? He sounds kind of tough. Too right he is. He's way stronger than your average beastie. But you've got yourself a familiar on your side now, man. You'll be fine. And besides, if you... Whoa, what happened to my voice there? If you're gonna take down Shadar, you can't back out of a little light guardian bashing now, can you? Light guardian bashing? What? Anyways, yes. So before we can actually get the spell and go help the guard, we have to go defeat the guardian here that is in this forest. Now, take a closer look at- oh my god, more tutorials. <laughs> Anyways, skip through this, you can go into your menu, and- oh wow, are, did you- did this guy really just explain what leveling up is? I think we all know what leveling up is. But yes, if you go into your menu, if you go into friends and familiars, you can look at your stats and your skills. As you can see- or, as you can see, there is a space for skills. This guy will learn a lot more skills as he levels up. So. We could use those as you could also see stats movement speed stuff like that. You could see that Ollie is rather fast uh, Yeah, this is a good place to look at skills and also give your familiars equipment Of course, we have no equipment right now, so we can't use it creature cage This is where you could feed your familiars treats. We don't have any treats right now But you could see your fullness and your familiarity familiarity is basically your bond like how close you guys are fullness obviously is how full your familiar is you fill them up too much, it'll have effects in battle. Don't fill them up too much. Uh, growth limit. Each familiar can only... Gr Each familiar has a certain growth limit. You can only feed them a certain amount of snacks and get a certain amount of stat boosts before you like it doesn't boost your stats anymore. You can still feed them treats, it just won't boost your stats anymore. They'll just up your familiarity and your fullness. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything here. So I'm actually... Hold on. I'm getting myself turned around, aren't I? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna head back to that waystone, and I'm gonna save. And then I'll end off the video, and then in the next video, we'll go on and, uh, fight this guardian fellow that we need to take care of, which is our first boss fight of the game. That's gonna be very exciting. Uh, <laughs> it'll be pretty easy, too. Yes, I'm aware. I'm going up to the waystone, buddy. 
I know where we're, I know where we need to go. Just trust me here. But anyways, I'm gonna save here, and I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.